As I'm approaching the DC fast charging station here, Chevy Bolt, I've been doing some a little bit of yo-yo, staying within the speed limit, but uh, basically doing high regen and high power starts, which should generate some heat because this is not the most efficient way of energy flow in and out of the battery. So I've been doing this for about 20 minutes so approaching the station. So it, the car was cold this morning. So hopefully this made some difference. It'll be interesting to see what the maximum power rate is as we plug into the DCFC. So this is the Meyer Cascade. There are the Tesla superchargers. Take the next right, then turn right. DC fast chargers are up here. There's a Kia EV6 there. So let's see if the yo-yo driving makes a difference. Nice, they didn't shovel out these spots. Man, this is a sheet of ice. Come on, Meyer. Get your folks to plow out these stations. All right, the moment of truth. I heard it latch, it's a good sign, I heard a click. This is what I'm looking for here, the power level. It's a good sign, 16%, 25 kilowatts. Oh, come on. Oh, still no better than usual. Two hours, 40 minutes remaining. That's insane. All right, let's give it a little bit of time and see if maybe just the charging itself will warm it up. In the meantime, time to hit Meyer. Well, the charging power has picked up a little bit, drifting up towards 30. Better than it was yesterday when the car was completely cold, but still not great. It's got another Bolt charging partner. There's a Kia EV6 here before, but looks like he had enough charge to get going. Well, this complicates matters. I got a notification from ChargePoint. This service provider has reduced the power on this station due to high energy demand. You may be charging at a slower speed. That may just be because the other guy plugged in next to me. But, yeah, because the two of these cars together couldn't even use the 125 shared power. Both of these vehicles, that's another bolt over there. Uh, both of these vehicles should only pull like 45 to 50 kilowatts. So I'm not sure this really makes a difference. I'm 24 minutes into this charge and the charge rate has picked up to almost 40 kilowatts. So I think maybe my yo-yo driving helped a little bit because yesterday when I was charging in the cold, it was sticking pretty much rock solid to 26 kilowatts. Even the car is now saying 38 kilowatts. So I think this charging stop is almost done. I think I'm getting pretty close to the mileage that I need to get home plus the buffer. Some final words on the yo-yo. Make sure you do it in a safe way. Stay within the speed limits. Make sure you're not holding up traffic. All that sort of good stuff but if you can do it in a safe way it looks like it makes a little bit of a difference all right see you next time